listen. Now listen. Don't you start nothing. It won't be nothing up in here, okay? <laughs> that song is amazing. This song was that, that, that song is amazing. You know why it's so amazing? Uh, it's because, you know, we've been talking about intimacy this week. The word of the week is intimacy. <laughs> we've handled fervor. We've handled paying attention. Now we are on intimacy. And I wanted to, I've been challenging you. And I've been, I know that I've been touching some little spots of uh, maybe it's uneasiness, maybe it's shame. Because sometimes we don't want to be honest with God because we're ashamed, right? And I, I, I remember uh, discussing being in these flesh tents. <laughs> That's a large reason, large reason why we have difficulty with being able to be vulnerable, period because of our flesh <laughs> we get reminders of what it felt like when we shared information and got hurt we we have reminders of what it felt like maybe in a relationship and we got hurt that's what that's what these flesh tents do they affect everything spiritually they do and you probably like the flesh affects us spiritually it does <laughs> this is a barrier our flesh is a huge barrier. Sometimes our flesh acts like a, I don't want to call it a band-aid. <laughs> look at your flesh, look at your flesh as if it was gauze. Right? It's per trying to protect everything that's inside of us that is gentle, that is, uh, could, could get hurt if it was exposed, right? We need our flesh. We, we need it, but it, it, it acts against us sometimes. And uh, sometimes we don't know how to manage our flesh, which is why we need God, we need Jesus, we need the Holy Spirit, so that we can pull some of those things, those thorns that still maybe we have to wear on our side, but we can at least pull them together and, and, and have them be a little more concentrated <laughs> on the Father. It's hard to tell your flesh what to do and what not to do. It just is. Uh, and that's why we need to have intimacy with the Father. Does that make sense? <laughs> I try to slow it down because sometimes I tell you yesterday I was so full and Y'all almost caught me taking these headphones out, moving the mic, and literally running in my office because God was mindful enough of us that he sent his most prized possession. Most prized possession for all of us. Who are we that he is mindful of us? <laughs> Who are we that he's thinking of us? That we're like, you know, in his scope, in his eye view, that he would do such a great action, that he would allow his son to go through such a great and terrible situation, but so that he could love us and we could love him. And so, a scripture I wanted to touch on today, which is also found in How I Faithed It Over, that you can find at smsministries.co. It's found in John chapter 14, verse 12, and it's probably something that you already know. That says, truly, truly, I say to you, whoever believes in me will also do the work that I do, and greater works than these will he do because I am going to the Father. And I thought about that scripture and I, you know, being in seminary, I want to shout out my, one of my mentors, uh, Dr. Anderson. <laughs> I heart him. And when I was in seminary, you know, he used to challenge me outside of class as well. Just in my relationship and my walk 
and now my calling. He's always holding me accountable about this, making sure that I'm doing what I know that God called me to do. And when I think about that scripture, you know, I laugh because we, you know, you have deep conversations sometimes, you're unpacking the word, you're just trying to figure things out. And when that scripture came to me to use into in the book, I, I instantly got like excited, but also a little worried because I didn't want my intimacy level to be at a deficit. I wanted my relationship with Christ, with God, with the Holy Spirit, all three, <laughs> to be so strong that I could do exactly what his word said, that I would do greater works. No greater works can any of us do that's greater than the cross. I mean, let's just be honest, but this is set up so that we win so that we succeed. Did Jesus go through trials and tribulations? Absolutely. Was Jesus tempted? Absolutely. So we, in these flesh tents, oh, we gonna get it. But there's nothing that we go through or that we're gonna go through that God hasn't allowed Jesus to go through. You understand? I want you to, I want you to grasp that. So. When you gave your life to Christ and you accepted him into your heart, one of those stipulations is a relationship. Because if you don't know him, there's no way you could do his works. There's no way you could do greater works than him. So intimacy is crucial in a relationship. There is no relationship without intimacy. This is going to be burned in your mind because I'm challenging you to go beyond the scope of your regular, normal day, night, or evening. I'm challenging you to bear all before the Father. You know, my mentor would challenge me that way. So I bought him up because he would make sure that I was in communication with God. He would make sure that I was reading. And he still does that. He, he checks up on me. He's a little stern sometimes. But sometimes we have to be held accountable. So for this week, I'm holding you accountable. Leave your bags at the door. Leave your doubt at the door. Leave your worry at the door. Leave all of those things that hinder the relationship that you could potentially have with Christ. Leave that at the door. Come to him just as you are, but bear all. He wants to hear from you. He loves you. He gave you another opportunity today. That's why he woke us up. He knew who we were gonna be before we were formed. Do you understand? You have a purpose. You have a destiny to fulfill. Your legacy depends on your level of intimacy with the Father, period. Because we can't do anything better and we can't even get to where <laughs> we should be if we don't know the one that created us. And I may sound like a broken record. I may. But to you, I don't. And I know it hurts sometimes to shed some of those pounds of heaviness that you have carried in your life. I know that sometimes your family may not understand you. I know sometimes that your best friends don't understand you. Like I almost took the mic out. I understand that because I've been there too. But God wants to see us succeed, period. And the only way we can be successful is if we shed some of those layers and we check our levels, right? We check our levels, who's around us. 
and that we start getting intimate at a and I know that I I keep saying the same thing but I know I probably I'm getting emotional now but why wouldn't you want to know your creator closer he has for, afforded you an opportunity to succeed an opportunity to be great you were born great no one has the right to give you permission to be great not even me you were born great so please I beg you come before the father vulnerable he's a mighty mighty God we are going to break through barriers this year you are going to accomplish things that you thought you could never accomplish. Your goals are gonna be met like never before. But this piece here, you have to get. So rock out with me. We serve a mighty God. Watch me build a relationship and get into that with him. We praise your name.